Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. Thanks for joining. Today we are going to be making Bruno from Encanto. <laughs> Bruno and his rats. I'm not necessarily looking forward to it. <laughs> um, but anyway, we're going to take that challenge. The files are from the Salty Yankee. So she has, it comes with both. It comes with Bruno holding the rats and, it, and extra rats. Lovely. <laughs> so anyway, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I appreciate it. Let's get started. So I'm going to insert. I've already downloaded the files from her website and now I'm uploading to Design Space. Um, and then from here, I'm just going to select the two and add to Canvas. So if you have been watching my videos and you know I've done Maribel and now um, I just finished um, Isabel, Isabella. And now we're going to do Uncle Bruno. So Uncle Bruno, the only thing uh, with him... You know, with the other two, I tried to make the details come to life. So with Mirabelle, we did a lot of stitching. Uh, we had tassels. We had pom-poms. So that was Mirabelle. She looked great. And then we went to Isabella, and I really tried to make the colors, the lace, um, and the flowers, like, match the character. So with Uncle Bruno, I feel like he's just kind of, you know, his hair is all messy, he lives between the walls with the rats. So the only thing that I can really think of so far right off the bat is um, for his uh, sandals, I want to use HTV to give it that leather feel and not paper feel. Um, I'm thinking for the rats, maybe doing some also some HTV to get that fuzzy feel so it's not like paper rats. Other than that, I don't really have any ideas. But the good thing is for the design space tutorial, we got to just make it. We piece it together. The pieces, uh, you know, we put it together. The pieces are there. And then we add on. So like um, the HTV for the sandals, they go on top of the cardstock. So all of the extra details always comes later. So regardless, the design space tutorial remains the same. So, all right, let's make him 30 inches. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab him and go to height and change it to 30 inches. And then I'm going to zoom out. This should be a relatively simple file. Um, he's, you know, got all the pieces. I don't know. I don't see anything crazy. The only thing that's going to be long is this middle piece of the green. And I was thinking it's okay if we slice it somewhere in the middle here because we can always add a rat. <laughs> so first of all, let's make these, these four rats comparable to these, okay? So for a 30-inch Bruno, the rats are going to be this size. So I'm just going to move this rat up here like this and make this a little bit bigger so that it's comparable in size. So they're that rat. So that means we've got four extra rats to kind of like place here and there. We can put them on a wobble so they're kind of like moving. Um, and yeah, I don't know how much more real I want to make that because I don't even like touching a magazine like a, you know, like any kind of pet magazine. And if it's not a dog and it's a picture of snakes, birds, uh, I don't know. I don't want, I don't even want to touch the magazine. So that, <laughs> that's where I am. I don't even know why I'm doing these rats. Like it kind of makes me want to throw up in, in my mouth right now. So anyway, we've got the sizing of this. Okay. So we can ungroup it. We're probably going to want to make this many rats. Now the pink, you see how the pink are in pieces like that? And they're kind of small. Um, let's, Let's see if we can, let's ungroup this and see how big the pink pieces are. So the pink pieces are teeny tiny. I'm going to want to do the pink in HTV so that the pieces are, they're, you know, they're small. They'll stay in place and I just need to iron it on really quickly. I don't need to try to make sure that the, these cut and then try to glue on each piece. So all my pink pieces are going to be HTV. And when we put this together, you're going to see, you know what, I will cut one in cardstock and then I'll cut one in, well, I'll cut the rest in HTV to show you how much better it is to do it that way. Okay, so our rats are there. 
let's start ungrouping these things and see what we have. So, yeah, all these little pieces are going to move over. Ugh, the rats. Let's see. Okay. Um, all right. So the skin. The skin is really big, right? Let's make this a little bit smaller. Zoom out. Um, we're going to need to slice these pieces. So let's bring in a square. And I'm just going to slice this. So we can only slice two things at one time. So it's going to be the square and the skin. Okay, so I'm going to grab these two items. And you see slicing is simple. Let me move my face. Let me move this over here. Okay. So slicing is available because I only grabbed the two items. I'm going to click slice. And now the feet are removed from the rest of the skin, right? So I'm going to get rid of my slice results. These are now together. You could go even further and slice out the, you know, each foot, but I'm gonna keep them together like that. I'm gonna next do the hand. So let's do this, slice. And let's do this. So you see, I can still use this piece. As long as the, the hand is completely covered in this square, not like coming through here, because that will make it more complicated. And then the, the rest of it is not in my square. That's, what, that's the goal here. So now I'm gonna grab those two items and slice. And so here's the head, here's my arm. This is all good. So now we could cut something like this, and I think this might all fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Let's see. Maybe. Oh, just enough. So see, that's perfect. All right, we've got that. Let's keep this here in case we need it. Here's the other rat. <laughs> I don't even know what the difference is between rat and mice. Uh, all right. <laughs> so here's his teeth. Um, eyes, mouth. Let's see, what is that? Let's scroll. Let's zoom in and see what we have here. What is that? Oh, his green eyes. Oh, those are pretty. Okay. So he's got green eyes and his eyes. Okay, let's zoom back out. So we've got um, his hair. His hair is all one piece. Okay, we'll do that in a second. This, okay. These brown pieces, it's 10 inches by 18 inches. So obviously we need to slice this out. Oh, with the pants. So I'm gonna use the same square, okay? And remember what I was saying, um, we want to make sure that the piece, I'm going to do the cuffs first. It's the only thing inside the square. And I'm going to do it like this. Then I'm going to take this over here and do this side for this cuff. Then I'm going to do the pants. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to do the collar. Now, let me show you again. So this is still in here, right? But as long as my mouse is only grabbing the brown and the square, you see my square, my mouse is only going up a little bit to grab the square, then I can still slice it. But if I get a little careless and I grab an extra piece like this, you see slicing is grayed out because I have more than two items picked up. I've got my square, you can see in the panel here, I've got my square, I've got the pants, and I've got the cuffs. I've actually got four items picked up here. So I'm gonna do it again and just grab my two items and I can slice. So I will say that for the most part, if you're having slicing issues, it's most likely user error. <laughs> Sorry, don't shoot the messenger. Um, I don't really see slicing glitching um, for those reasons. So anyway, just wanna let you know. Okay. <laughs> Um, we've got the green and then we're almost done. Here are the sandals. We've got these green. This you can slice if you want to. We can do this like that. Grab these two and slice so that we can make this more efficient and then we can save, you know, your scrap you can save for another project. So that's that. We've got this here. You can do the same thing or not. I'm just gonna move it over. Are these two the same green? No, they're not. Okay. All right, this guy right here. I'm gonna zoom in for a second. We cannot slice this because 
it would be really hard to isolate this piece without touching this piece. You see what I mean? So when some things are so close together, we're gonna use contour to separate it. So this is in one, two, three, four, five, five pieces. So when you use contour to separate the pieces, however many pieces you want them separated into, in this case, five, we need five total copies of this image. So I'm gonna go to duplicate. Here's copy two, three, four, and five. All right, so the first piece is highlighted. I'm gonna to go to contour and I'm gonna hide all. It's gonna leave this middle piece right here. So this is five inches by 14, it looked big. So let's do the next piece. We're gonna select it, contour, and we're gonna hide all. We already have the first piece, so I want the second piece. I don't want the first piece. Okay, so this piece is three and a half by 10, we're good. Let's go to the next one, contour, hide all. I want the third piece, not the first piece. So you see how this goes, it's pretty easy and pretty quick. Now I want the top pieces, right? So I'm gonna hide all, I want this piece, I don't want this piece. There's our little guy, then the last piece, I need that shoulder piece. So hide all, I want this piece, I don't want this piece. Done. All right, this guy is too big. What I plan on doing with this guy is slicing somewhere right here and then putting a wrap right over the, right over the piece. Um, actually, no, I take that back. Let's put a little slider in here so that we can get the rat to move back and forth, okay? And then we'll slice the rest of it. So let's bring in this shape right here, okay? And uh, let's bring down a rat so we can get an idea of how big the rat is. I'm just gonna move this down. Arrange center to the front, oops, and let me move it so that we can see it better. Okay, so here's our thing. We want this wrap to kind of like move back and forth. <laughs> okay, so here, so I am gonna make this thinner. I'm gonna unlock this and do something like this. Let's see, if it's half an inch, Maybe something like this, okay? So then this rat is gonna go like this, back and forth. It's gonna move back and forth here, okay? So I'm gonna slice this out. Well, let's see how big this piece is, 14 inches. So if I do it right around there, that'll be fine. All right, I'm gonna grab these two pieces and I'm gonna slice. I want my green to have a hole so that I can put a slider in there, okay? Then, Um, let me see, so let's put this arranged center to the front. So this is gonna be right here, maybe right here. Okay, so you see right, when he goes back and forth, this line right here is almost completely covered. That's where I'm gonna slice it, okay? So I'm gonna bring in square and see because he's gonna go like this back and forth so actually maybe I'll have it like that okay so let's make this like big big and we're gonna slice it right around here Right around there. Okay, so hit the shift key, grab your green and slice. So we're gonna have a top half of the tunic or whatever you wanna call it. And we're gonna have the bottom. We're gonna tape this back together, okay? This seam, hopefully, will just be covered by our moving rat, arranged then to the front. He's gonna be on a, he's gonna be on a slider and he's gonna move back and forth. Something like, uh, maybe I made him too. Could I make it like that? I can make it go back and forth like that. 
gross, right? <laughs> but we're going to hide that seam. That seam is going to be hidden. Um, and now this is all cuttable, I guess if that's a word, on the Cricut. Okay, so let's move all these pieces out of the way. Okay. All right, so the only thing we have left is the black background because he's 30 inches by 20 some inches. Oh, what are those pieces right there? What is that? Let's zoom in. What is that? Oh, those are his. Oh, these are the rat's eyes. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Like, what am I looking at? Okay, let's move this out of the way. Oh, good Lord. Okay. Oh my gosh, move. Okay, here's our guy, right? I'm gonna go into images, or actually I'm gonna go into uploads. I have an SVG file, it's called the grid of squares, and it's nine and also 16 squares. Uh, completely flushed with each other. So, so you, you can, can get, get this grid for free by subscribing to my newsletter, or you can, if you don't want to subscribe to anything, you can purchase it. They're both on my website, theuselesscrafter.com. The reason why it's useful is that you don't have to recreate the squares every single time you need to slice a big project, so that's really nice. Um, although, if you want to, I do have videos showing you how to create this grid of squares. Um, the second thing that you want to do is, well, let's... Um, arrange center to the back. The first thing you want to do is with this grid of squares, go to position and put them on whole numbers. So I'm going to put it on four and five. So basically it's four units over and five units down. And that way everything is on a whole number. So if we need to do something with this file, it's easy to fix our mistakes or recreate it. Okay. So now we've got Bruno. And I'm thinking something like this, where his face doesn't have any seams. Um, we'll see what we can do here. And then this one, so he'll have minimal seams. This is all one piece, this is all one piece. This will make it to two pieces, okay? So you see where he is? Now, this is what I wanna do. Let's get rid of this. Oh, let's ungroup it. And we don't need a couple squares, right? We don't need this one. You don't need this one, this one, or, oh, let me undo it. Pick the wrong one, there. Okay, so let's slice this out. We're slicing out the bottom. We're slicing out the head. And I'm gonna move this over. And then I'm gonna delete this. Okay, so now we have this piece, right? Um, I'm going to grab the two squares that are left. Where are my squares? Okay, I'm going to grab this one and hit the shift key and grab this one. And oops, no, let's get rid of this one first. So I'm down to two squares, right? I'm going to grab these two squares and I'm just going to use my arrow key and move it over. So that instead of three pieces, we don't need it to be three pieces. It can be in two pieces. Okay. So now that it's in two pieces, I'm going to grab this and slice. So there. Oh, what happened here? Hold up. Undo. I think something shifted. So let's undo this for a second. I don't know what happened. This piece is fine. Eleven by eleven. This one shifted. That needs to be eleven by sixteen. So okay. Um, sometimes it's just the mouse. So you see, like it's good to be on a whole number because that was easy for me to find, right? Okay, I'm gonna grab these two and I'm gonna move it over so that it's even. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab these two and slice, and hopefully, I am good. Yep, there are four pieces and now we can piece them together. Okay, that's all there is. I'm going to save it right now. So Bruno, 
30 inches. And let's go look at the Make It screen. So we're going to go to Make It. And here's our white. Oh, look at all those rat eyes and whatever. <laughs> Um, I am tempted to make this an HTV, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, here are our rats. Here's our black background. Awesome. Rats. All right, these two rats probably can fit somewhere. So let's click on the three dots, move object. We can move that one to here. Yeah, it definitely fits, right? Um, and then this rat, we can move, move object. Let's put it with his head. Yep, fits there. Um, I wonder, could we move anything else? I don't think so. Let me see. Could we fit that? No, we can't. I was trying to see if we can fit one more thing, but we can't. All right, we got rid of one black. Here are, oh God, here are each of the, the rats. Now remember, I want to do this in HTV, so I want to keep them separate like this so that I can cut and HTV it down, iron it down. So it's a little bit wasteful, but this will be so much easier later. All right, here is our his hair and his shoes. But the shoes I'm gonna want separate, remember, because I wanna do that in HTV. Um, so I'm gonna move this, move object, and I'm gonna create a new one. And I'm gonna do a different brown. And confirm. So these are my shoes. See his skin color, the brown rats. Here's the green of his vest. Here's more green. So this, we could do something like this. Streamline it a little bit so that we have more space here to add. Oh, maybe we can. So here's a trick. You could make this and just pretend it's 12 by 24. So it's all on one map. And then um, you can start moving things around. Let's see if we can get this. Flip this over, okay, it's looking good. Let's see if we can get everything to work. I don't think we can. Oh, let's see. I know it's a little bit like, what is it? Not Jenga, what's the other one? The one where like you poke the things through. Is it Jenga? Oh, it might be. No, not Jenga, that's not, I don't want the one that pokes through. I want the other one, Tetris. My mind. Okay. Um, could we fit this in? It's going to be close. I don't think I can. But you see, I mean, even if I can't, at least you know this for the next. Oh, that, that was good. But I got this big old block. Oh, let me see. Do I have another green? I don't have a green of that color. I really don't think I could fit that anywhere. I mean, this could go down here, but I still have, let me see, could we do something like, like, no, nothing, it didn't matter. All right, that was a good lesson though. All right, that's all that there is. I'm gonna help you. Piece it together and we'll come up with some ideas for the wraps. But if you have any ideas, post it because it always takes me a couple days. I'll cut it, I need to let it simmer, and then something will come to me. So if you have an idea, please post it. All right, bye guys.